Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be debunking, in a sense, the uh, the model that some people will say about how the moon face or the side of the moon that is lit should always face the side of the where the sun was. Well, here you go. It's uh, 11 15 p.m. November 6th, and now uh, the moon has risen. As you can see, I've, there's a parking lot, some trees below me, and I just went straight up. So you can see that the bottom half of the moon is lit up. Now, technically, the, it's the left side of the moon is lit. But what I'm looking at here, this is an equatorial view of the moon in my Virginia home. I should never see how the moon should look at the equator in a temperate zone thousands of miles away from the equator. Never ever. So the model as I was talking about though is they say oh well the, the side that's lit should face the side where the sun was. It should follow the sun. Well like as you can see here the moon has just risen so we're facing east. The, sun, the moon is not very high off the horizon, you know, 20, 30 degrees from my point of view. Well, the sun set behind me four hours ago. So if that model was to work as the moon would face where the sun set, that would mean just based on here, even though I shouldn't see an equatorial view, the top side of the moon would be lit if that was the case. But even if the moon was normal and the terminator line was vertical essentially that would still ruin that model but here we have the bottom side of the lit from our perception and the sun is behind me in the west set four hours ago so if that was the case that means that the top side of the moon would be lit if it's normal for it to look if it's normal for me to have an equatorial view of the moon in north america in the mid-Atlantic region, well north of any equatorial tropical zones. So, I just want to throw that one out there that there's the next model that uh, is BS out there that someone may tell you, well here you go, you can throw in this video where I'm showing the bottom half lit which is abnormal all in itself, but also Sorry, it's getting chilly out here tonight. So, there you go. Here, you can you can throw in this video and tell them, uh, go look again. The moon's cartwheeling, and it has been for 10 years. It's not field rotation. I'm not using a telescope. I'm not doing long-term photography, you know, where I'm taking trying to get a time lapse or... This is just taking stills or video, very short term, naked eye, unaided eye. All those reasons right there you could look up and find the why. Field rotation cannot explain what the moon is doing from our perception. Google all those terms I just said. Field rotation is for telescopes doing a uh, like a time lapse where you would need a mount to track the moon moving along the horizon but that still doesn't explain why it's turning along as it goes along the horizon which we know why the earth is on its side so from our point of view everything along the horizon is turning like a clock the sun even just had a post today in the group where people are showing showing pictures for a guy who's tracked sunspots on the sun for two years and he's basically explaining the spots are turning around along are not traveling across from left to right along the sun they are doing circles around around the disk of the sun i've shown pictures of jupiter and its moons doing the same thing it's all because of our perception that's it so if you want to know why the earth is on its side, I, I have made several videos about this. And so has Angry Catfish Briggs. Uh, he's the one that has shown, has fought 
the world for 10 years to say the moon is wrong. More people need to know about this. It's the seed planter. Because once you see the moon, you never forget it. All right. Enjoy your weekend, and I will do the same. Laters.